going on, everybody? You're listening to East Gone Raw. We got our guy Blue. What it is, though. And I'm Crucial Chase. And it's been kind of a crazy week, man. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it, man. Yeah, um, I guess I can go into some shit. Well, um. <laughs> Hell of a way to start the show. Yeah. I guess I can get into some ish. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> go, go ahead, dog. Go ahead, man. You know what I'm saying? Just well, you know, make sure make sure it fits. You know, it's all. the um is for time of recording. It's pretty much right after the memorial uh, memorial Labor Day weekend. And um, right. it's kind of it was the, the whole weekend kind of blurred together for me, man. Like, oh. <laughs> like we didn't do nothing spectacular other than just it was just a roller coaster of emotion and all this crap. But anyway, we, you, sound, you sound like Ron Burgundy. I'm in a glass cage of emotion. <laughs> 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 but it's it's all good, man. It's all good, man. Cause we um, cause uh, well, it started out kind of negative, you know, you know all the kind of stuff we've been talking about and all that, and then um, yeah, me me and the wife got in an argument about politics. I don't know how. I mean, I guess I, I guess I kind of brought. I don't know. Um, <laughs> maybe I did bring it up. I don't. But it felt like it kind of came out like the whole conversation just kind of started you know so it kind of like organic like i wasn't just being like you know what Uh i'm about to start some shit and it was just kind of like it just kind of like organically bloomed into you know this whole thing and then um and then as we were kind of settling down from that i went downstairs to uh I think I went downstairs to do some with the laundry. Our laundry stuff is downstairs. My dad lives down the stairs, and right. he's like, he's like, I need to talk. <laughs> he's like, okay. I'm done with this shit. Um, you, you know, I, we've got. I've, I've either got to go, or y- y'all got to make. You know, the kids got to be in military school or something. But I'm tired of all the stomping and all this mess. And then this, so that was on me. And then, mm-hmm. so then we were thinking. What the hell would we even do? Because if yeah. he isn't here, you know, I don't think we could afford it. Right. And then also, so if we're here and he's not, we couldn't afford it. And like, what would he do? Like, he couldn't afford to live mm-hmm. by himself. And then also, you know, the whole reason we're here in this situation is because we thought that he needed help with like, oh, we're trying to make him as self self sufficient as possible, but the um mm-hmm. the main thing is like if he fell, which he has failed this year, and mm-hmm. um we knew because it should mm-hmm. be all house. <laughs> if he was right, right, on right. his <laughs> on his own, we wouldn't have known unless right. he got to a phone or something. So like that was the whole reason we didn't go with a separate house, you know, or whatnot. Right, a separate Plus, living situation. Yeah. I mean, otherwise, it wouldn't have really benefited you to move all the way from out of state, right? Because, right. I mean, you're, you're there to provide him help, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, also to be closer to my brother, but if yeah. if that would be the only thing, because we were already like four minutes away from him, and it still felt too far away, you know, for like, yeah. oh, he needs groceries, so I have to go all the way to that's, you know, if I did trash for him, I had to Go all the way to dad's, get his truck, load it up, go all the way to the trash dump, go all the way back, yeah, then yeah. get in my car and go back. It was like a, a whole day thing. Mm-hmm. So um, so you said four minutes, you meant four hours? No, four or minutes. Four minutes before when we were, because he lived like four minutes away from us. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So before he lived four minutes away from you, but then he moved away. Okay, got it. Yeah, we did. So we moved. We all moved away, and then yeah. together to be closer to my brother. But then, he, and but then, if um we moved out, we I think we would be okay. We could find something, you know what I mean. But yeah. then that would also screw him. Like, what would he do? He couldn't afford his place yeah. on his own. He, uh, you know, the one right. person that would be the most screwed would be him. I think because yeah. we I mean, we yeah. we would find something, you know, as yeah. working individuals. And then the last thing would be me and Amber split up and she takes the kids to her mom's and then I stay with dad. And then that yeah. nah, would that's not, that's be, not 
that would be bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not that's not optimal. Because so, um, yeah, yeah, he would, yeah, she would get away from the situation, but then there would be someone to take care of dad. But then our me and dad's relationship would be splintered because I would feel resentment, right? Because being like, right, you're the whole reason that I'm over here alone <laughs> <laughs> without no lady, right. <laughs> Still, a, still that glass case of emotion. <laughs> I need but, some scotch, uh, scotch, scotch, scotch. <laughs> scotch, 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 scotch. Um, <laughs> oh man, so man, that's crazy, man. Well, listen, I hope that you guys can sit down and talk of like legit, real alternatives that everybody can be happy with, man. Because mm-hmm. um, what it sounds like to me is just like right now. Right now, everybody's everybody's looking out for a number one, and instead of it being us, it's an I thing. Yeah. Um. And you know, families don't work that way. They just don't work that way. It has to be what's best for the. Fa- and I'm telling you, man, it's so hard to see in that because everybody has so much emotion invested in it. At, yeah. Like right now, you know what I mean? Everybody got so much emotion invested <laughs> in it right now, hence the glass cage. But um, like if, if, <laughs> you can get, if you can get people removed from that, um, I think cooler heads will prevail, man. But I think really, it really involves sitting down with a pencil and a pad and just saying, OK, here's our options, pros and cons. Here's uh-huh. option B. Pros and cons, and just go down the list. Make an Excel sheet, dog. Um, you know. Uh, oh, options- one of the options yeah. was to try to soundproof the the floor. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, his object is like make those kids mind, and like the um, it's not that they're not minded. It's just you know, it's not the fifties, and we're not gonna they're not gonna be like kids that sit down, shut up, spoke when they're spoken to. It's not a military household. It, we're, right. we're we're a little bit. I mean, I know we have some conservative views oh well not me but like well i mean i guess some i have some the uh, right (laughs) but um you know we have a hodgepodge of liberal and conservative views in the household but we're definitely more liberal than that (laughs) okay so yeah so so, i mean there's got to be some way to make it to where it doesn't it's not as loud for him right I i think yeah yeah, there has to be some way. I think the way you get there is say, OK, all right, what do we agree needs to change? And then which way is going to which way is going to be the best benefit? Um, not not for the kids, but as one of which way is going to be um, beneficial for them where they won't feel. And sometimes kids just gonna feel ultimately restricted, man. Like I told my kids growing up, I'm like, listen, I'm way more strict than your than, than your friends. Dads like I'm not going to let you watch listen to or play stuff that your other friends are going to watch, listen to and play. You're going to hate it, but I'm just telling you that because I'm going to make you, it's going to make you a better person. So, um, so when I take these things away from you and you understand why, um, or like when you don't have these things and we understand why, and I give you the perspective on why, then when it's introduced to you, now you have a healthy, uh, mind in which to assess it. You don't Mm -hmm. just take it in. You know what I mean? So, um, so that's how I've always done it in my house. And like I grew up with my grandfather. I told, I've told i said it many times. I grew up with my grandparents. My grandfather was in the military. My mm-hmm. grandfather was a farmer. He did those two things his entire life. He didn't even graduate from high school because he left in eighth grade. So, But it was a life of just structure on top of structure. So I raised my kids that way. And so for me, you say it's not a military household, but mine is very militant, even though <laughs> I never served. But I just grew up with I grew up with people around me who did my uncle, my favorite uncle, my, my grandpa, my brother even went, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's just, that's just kind of how we are, man. And sometimes like I, I always told my kids, look, I love you. I'm your dad. I'm not your friend. I will be your friend when you are old enough to be my peer, but I'm not your friend right now. I'm your dad. And mm-hmm. so it's, there's a difference. I have to make, I had to make that split. Right. Because Chase, you know, but you know, you know, I'm Bobby. I believe in man, right? But I believe that there's a season for everything, right? As as our kids age, there are certain things that we have to do in certain seasons of their life because in certain seasons of their life, they soak up more things in certain areas than others, mm-hmm. right? And so in certain seasons of their life, I am this way. As they get older and I feel like they mature and they get understand, I change. That I change, I change my 
like my principles don't change, but my methods change to the way that's most conducive to that particular stage of life, right? To that particular season. And then as it matriculates on, it continues to change, right? Yeah. So when you ask, was I having a party? I was in there just kicking it with my oldest, right? Because he's moved out. He's, you know, he'll be he'll be 25 this year. You know, he's he's an LPN. He's doing all his things, right? So now he's at a point to where he's an adult peer like me. So now we can interact in a different way. Yeah. And so, so I'm telling you, man, that has helped me. It, it's benefited right now. My youngest is 16 and he absolutely hates when I have to come in and say something to him. I'm like, well, listen, do your life in a way where I don't have to come in and say something, because I promise you, I would enjoy that more than you <laughs> because I would feel like you got it. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. but yeah, I'm not going to tell you how you run your household. Man. I'm just telling you how I, how I do mine. And I, and I've, like I said, I've had to make a lot of decisions, but I just had to, I just always had to view it in, in the lens of what's going to make you a better person. Right. Right. So, yeah, we, um, I mean, we're fairly strict on, I mean, we have leaned up and then we got stricter or we were strict and we leaned up and we're, cause this is a balance where you're like, mm-hmm. what do we do? But like, cause our oldest has autism. And then, so, oh, and then yeah, he, yeah. he um, just doesn't get a lot of things it's like, yeah. so <clears throat> especially like, like the idea of um, punishment or like, let me see, like, like say if, um, cause normally I wouldn't even take the Xbox, right? I would take the cord right. so he can still see the Xbox, but it won't work. <laughs> right, right, right. That's even worse, right? <laughs> That's even worse, man. But, um, <laughs> but, but then he's like, well, I don't have the Xbox, so I can go in the living room and get on a PlayStation, right? And I'm like, what? Like, no. Like, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the, just, yeah. the, just the simple fact that that would even cross his mind that, you, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Because it doesn't, the, the idea of punishment doesn't like register home, doesn't be like, well, I can't do this. Right, right. right. Yeah, yeah. But, um, okay. so a lot of things is, is tough there and there are littlest. He, he's just so hyper. I think he's just got a lot of energy. He's, he, he's really smart. And, um, yeah. Cause he, um, we didn't like let him on YouTube and stuff, but there was like YouTube kids. And there's yep. this one thing mm-hmm. on YouTube kids that was called alphabet lore. And it uh-huh. kind of like made the alphabet into these like little monsters or whatever. Yeah. And he, he loved that for a long time. And then now in kindergarten, he's like apparently on like a second grade level when it comes to like writing and like alphabet and stuff and yeah. like well, his numbers good. and stuff like that. And yeah. um, so I, th- recognition th- down. I think that he, he's going to do well. It's just he, we just somehow to get the hyperactivity down because he's just like coming in the house just running. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that's tough. That's really tough. Um, man, but he's so young. You can't really yeah. do a lot of extracurriculars with him right now. But right. I was going to say do that because that will tire him out. Mm-hmm. So he'll come in tired. He'll be able to go expend it having fun, right? Not like not doing something like anything related to like punishment at all, but he'll be able to do stuff having fun. You know what I mean? Like Little League, whatever, you know, going to the Y, whatever. If you're trying to get back in shape, you go to the you go to the Y. They probably got something for him, too. You know what I mean? But have him burn that energy out. So when he gets mm-hmm. home, he's just dragging through the door. You know what I mean? Come home, take it, take a bath, go to bed. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's that's the key right there, man. You know, so uh, but that's cool, though, man. I, I mean, that's that's awesome, man, to, to see him that age just be so rambunctious and full of life and stuff, man, because, I mean, they don't stay that way forever. They don't stay that way forever. Believe me, they get become teenagers where they they're moody. You know what I mean? And you want to elbow drop, them, but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, man. OK. Yeah. The, okay. the oldest, it's like this mixture of some things are typical teenager stuff, but then it's mixed with things under his age. You know what I mean? So it's like he's yeah, moody, yeah. yet he still wants to be right under us like 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 Riley is, you know, yeah, he's like, yeah. oh, well, Riley gets more attention, but Riley gets different types of attention that you would, right, w- w- should want, you know, we can right. play games together, we can watch movies together, we're not gonna, you snuggle and tickle, you know, <laughs> right, right, exactly, 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 that's a tough, man, that's a different, that's a different type of challenge, man, um, um, as far as I know, like that, that's, that is a different sort of challenge, so, hey, man, kudos, I know that is not easy, bro. So I keep you in prayers, man, because I know that's that's difficult. That's a difficult line to tiptoe down. 
is hard to know. Well, I, I did take him. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Friday. We did take him to a football game. I don't know if I told you that. Oh, did you? That's what's up, man. So That's his, what's up. His school had a football game, and like as we, it was varsity. So I thought yeah. that varsity would be more exciting. So we um, we pulled in, and then he was like, "Hey, wait a minute! That guy goes to my school. I mean, that guy, uh-huh. I'd be like, Aiden, we're at your school." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, man! I spend I spend every Friday night. Um, if, if that's a game night, I'm I'm at the football field every week because my son's a junior. He's yeah, a they. Uh, and so yeah. In in his school, they they kind of dominated. Like, so it it was exciting, but it was also a little bit boring because they there was yeah. no back and forth. They even it was exciting early on. They scored, it was exciting early on before yeah, they, it got going. <laughs> they uh they scored a safety on them. So if that shows how dominating they were, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good, man. That's good. My, our our team got my my son's team got walked on Friday night, man. They did not <laughs> score a point. They got completely shut out, and the game shut down early, man. So, um, yeah, it was a it was an embarrassing defeat. But, uh, uh, but no, man, Friday nights are great. Like those are fun, man. That is fun, fun time. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and Young Riles, did you take him? I'm pretty sure he had a chance to run up and down and everything. Oh, he, he, yeah, it was just me and Aiden. Oh, okay, time, sorry. okay. So, but, oh well, man, my, my brother was there, but like, so it was, but but it, me and Aiden went, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm telling you, man, that's a good thing, too, because when I go out on Friday nights, man, I see a lot of young kids up there, man, and by about the third quarter, boy, they are tired. I'm telling you, man, if you want to wear because I'm telling you, that'll give, that'll give Amber some peace if she's staying at the house and she ain't out there. Um, and then all you got to do is keep up with him. All you got to do is keep up with him. He'll be, young Riles will be tired, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, yeah. you knocked out of there. Because it did remind me of back when I would go to football games. Like, it's not that I was always interested in the mm-hmm. football game. Is that right. it's a big social event, too. Because, like, it is huge. Nobody's just, I mean, there's people in the stands, but there's people, like, off to the side, you know. Like, people are, like, hanging out everywhere, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. For sure, man. Like, that was a big thing when I was in eighth grade, man. When I was in middle school, man, that was a spot on Friday nights. Go to the varsity game, man. That was a spot. You used to go there, everybody. Because I came, you know, I grew up in a small town, man. Mm-hmm. Everybody in town was there. And so it wasn't just people at school you'd see. You'd see your relatives. You'd see all type of people, man. Everybody was there. And it was just all up and down the stands, man. That's Like, you didn't sit down all night, really. You might have sit down for 10, 15 minutes at a time. But otherwise, you up and moving around, dog. So, yeah, it was fantastic, man. So, <laughs> uh, it's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. Yeah. That's good, man. That's good, man. Well, listen, let me tell you how my Friday went real quick. So <clears throat> I've been applying for other positions and stuff, man. So I ended up getting a call on Friday um, that I got that I ended up getting hired as a supervisor at a different agency doing the same job that I do. 100% remote, Chase. Your boy <laughs> never got to go into work. 100% remote, man. And um, so I was like, Thank you, Lord, because where I'm at right now, man, I've been here for almost three years and I didn't apply for uh, I applied for a few other things, but not not here, not locally. Just you, you can wear those half there. suits. <laughs> I could. I could. But I don't I don't believe in that, man. I got a whole closet full of suits. If I'm suiting up now, I did wear a half suit on my interview, man. So your boy had a shirt and tie with a vest on, dog. I'm telling you, man, looking G clean. <laughs> I was looking clean, son. But um, and balls. But no, man, <laughs> <laughs> and and shorts on. I had shorts on, tucked it into the shorts. But I raised, so you know, I got this. Um, you know, I got the standing desk. So I actually stood up through my whole interview and everything, man. And all they saw was up top anyway. Uh, mm-hmm. It was basically like this, this, this tight a frame right here anyway. So it was all good. But yeah, man. So I ended up getting the position, man. So uh, I think there were at least twenty two applicants for it. So man, I was. I was really, really excited, man. And now I'm at a spot now, Chase, where I know that I'm not going to be going anywhere this month and more than likely be next month. But I have a couple of big things to wrap up and I'm just still trying to motivate myself to, okay, knock these out, do extremely well on these. Mm -hmm. And then after that, that's all that's all I got to do here. It's all I got to do here. So, yeah, man, I'm excited, man. First supervisor spot supervising four people um working on really cool stuff um that i can't talk about but it's 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 awesome so (laughs) it's good man i'm really excited dog so i was excited about that i was like oh man i get to do all this this and this the only other thing that'll that'll make this day well is if my son plays well and his team wins well my son played well but his team got dusted so um that's (laughs) that was it man but that that was my friday man that was uh 
yeah, that was that was your boy's Friday, man. So, <laughs> so yeah, man. It's but what else like, did you get? So he's like, oh man, today was a grueling day at work. Well, what happened? Can't talk about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I mean, I can I can talk in general, you know. I can talk yeah. and I can say what I do, but I can't say what's going on specifically with it, right? So that's right. always my job. So I can say, you know, you know that I that I work in contracting um, for a particular platform, but I can't necessarily say what we're doing on said platform. Right, that's right, all. Right. But um, but now I'll be going over to an entirely different agency, man, which is a nerd, and I can say that that I, it I, it'll be at the Space Force. Your boy be at the new agency. <laughs> nice. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm a science nerd, man. I never got lower than a B in any science class in my life. I am a science nerd. I love science. So Sweet. being able to be over there, it's going to be awesome, dude. I am really excited about that. And yes, I did watch the show Space Force on Netflix. I already seen it. I watched it last summer. So <laughs> anybody's wondering, I already, I already watched it. I already watched Steve Carell. <laughs> act like a plum fool um, <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah i already seen that but that's it man like that's that was my friday um my saturday my son got invited down to i told you he plays football so north texas invited him down to come watch a game mm-hmm. so we drove we drove he had never been to a college game so i drove him down and um as a whole family we all went down there man that was all day shoot it was a uh, two hour 45 minute drive went down to the game Two hours, 45 minutes back. Man, it was a long day. I was tired. <laughs> um, but it was pretty cool. It was his first time. They got they got smashed 58 to 21. And um, shoot, man, we can't. But it was cool, though. It was really cool. Like, they had a nice stadium. They had a nice campus. Um, it was pretty good, man. We went on down there. We had a good time. Came back. Um, Sunday was church day, rehearsal day. And then yesterday, yesterday was the relaxation day. Your boy got tickets from, you know, um, so I'm a T-Mobile, right? I'm a, I, I use T-Mobile. So they had a they had $5 T-Mobile Tuesday where you can go go to the movies. The movie they had on was Equalizer 3 with Denzel. Okay. So I went and watched Equalizer 3 yesterday, man. He was in there putting in work, dog. It was great. <laughs> it was great, man. And you know what? The Labor Day holiday movie um, movie phenomenon is a real deal, dog. There were a lot of people in the theater, so you know. Normally, I go watch early. I go, I go watch early shows because a is cheaper, but b, um, the theater is is way is much more sparsely populated, so you can get a good seat. And then with the AMC theaters and stuff, they ended up they always end up um, they have much fewer sh- seats in there. It's all mm-hmm. reserved seating, so all of the pretty much all the positions are good seats. But man, I went up in there. It was a lot of people up in there, but I had like prime real estate, man. But it was it was good, man. It, <laughs> it, it, was, it was nice. It was a good time. And you know, I will say this. I know my boy Devious Mr. Matt does not like going to the movie. Right. But there is something to be said about the communal social experience you have. When people are watching uh, re- repeat, I've lost you. Hold up. Can you still hear me now? Yeah. Okay, so there's something to be said about the communal experience, man, when you're in a movie and something funny happens or they do something cool or something brutal and everybody has like a similar reaction and it's all, you know, you all feel it at the same time. Like you can't get that at home. Right. You can't get that at home. So um, it was cool, man. Really enjoyed it. For five bucks, man, I went up in there and just chilled. I kicked, I sit down, relaxed, man, kicked it. And then almost all weekend and even today before we were um, we hooked up here, man, I was in here playing that Marvel Midnight Suns again, man. I'm telling y'all, I don't like car-based games. I don't mm-hmm. like tactical turn-based RPGs. And this is all of that. But this is a it's like <laughs> It's like everything you don't like and somehow you everything. like it. It's everything I don't like, man. It's like, yeah, man. I, you know exactly so it's just like this collage it ends up being like this uh casserole of things i don't like but the there's true synergy because the aggregate you know the 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 sum the, you know the sum of the parts or whatever the whole is greater than the sum of the parts is really good i guess i have like 63 hours in this game now man and I have not moved along the main story i've just been doing side stuff because it's so fun man like you're just progressing and it's it, it is like Persona in that you have the actual combat, the story, accompanied and enveloped in this whole social interaction thing. And I am the book club, dog. Finally made it to the book club, dog. <laughs> uh, so it's cool, man. It's cool. Like, I really like it. And I just keep adding people to my roster, man. Like, 
dude, it is great, man. Like, Do you have the the gold edition or whatever that has the DLC and all? Yeah, that? I have. Oh. I have like some type of definitive edition, I believe, man. And so, um, yeah, I got it because it was like it was on sale for thirty seven, and it's normally like seventy five or something mm-hmm. or something like that. But that's the edition that I have. I think it's like a deluxe edition, man. But it is great. It's great, man. Like I, I absolutely enjoy that game a lot. And so I, I highly re- listen. Listen, y'all. The Steam Winter Sale is gonna come up soon. Okay. Just go ahead, put it on your wish list. I'm telling y'all, put it on your wish list. That game drops. <sighs> Gotta get it. Gotta get it, man. Mm-hmm. Gotta get it. It's fantastic, man. Um, like the trailers and stuff don't really. Now I'll say this: the performance is up and down when I'm trying to play on my 4K screen. Even though I limit it to 1440p, mm-hmm. the the but when I'm over here playing on my 144 hertz screen, man, I'm getting like a hundred and seven frames or something. Man, it's something dumb. And then when it when it goes to in game cinematic, in engine cinematics, mm-hmm. um, it jumps to like 144 locked. Like it's crazy. Like it's all over the place. But when I'm over here playing at 140, uh, 1440p on my 60 hertz monitor, like man, that thing it'll go for a while, and it seems like it gets like memory leakage, and then it, then the frame rate starts to drop. But I'm like, it doesn't do that over here. So it's just weird. But that's the one quirk I would say about it, man. But like I said, well, there I must be some really, sort of background thing going on. With that is it a TV? No, man. It, yes, it's a TV. Yeah, it's a TV. Mm-hmm. It's a TV. It's an LG. It's an LG TV. It's an older LG TV, but it's just weird, man, because that's the only thing, because I'm not even running it at 4K, and the game doesn't push it at 4K. The TV's the TV's display resolution is set at 1440p. Everything is 1440p. Um, it's just it's just a little weird, but yeah, those those operational quirks aside, man, the game itself, fantastic. Like, for real. Like, I know I say it every week because I'm trying to take one game at a time, you know, trying to chew on it slowly till I get it, but, yeah. man, that game is fan-freaking-tastic. I hear you, man. Like my brother really loved it, and when I would watch him play, I was like, "Man, I think I might like this." Even if I have to like put down the difficulty, so I'm not some some enjoying it a little bit more than because he he likes playing his games on like super hard, and I'm like, "Yeah." Mm. On on this, I I think I might not want all my team members to die in the first round. You know? <laughs> I'll say this, man. I'll say this. I've been playing on normal. Mm-hmm. I've, I've been playing on normal the whole time, and it's is is very easy. Like I, I wanted to play on normal so I can get the thought process down of, of, of playing this kind of game, and it's great. Like, do you it, think since you like this, game. do you think you would go to the side and p- play like a Mutant Year Zero or something like that, or would you? Yeah. Or See, that's the thing. is this a lightning in a bottle where it's just like the perfect synergy of these things? I think I think what it is, I think what it is. Is and I was thinking about it earlier today. This is what I think it is, Chase. So let me uh let me lean on in. Let me let me get close. Oh. Um, this is what I think it is. You know how a lot of tactical turn based RPGs have like this grid layout that kind of limit where you can move and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and then um and then you can levy your attacks from where you get positioned from, right? Um, with this one, it it removes just enough. It trims just enough off the edges of that tactical game to make it to make it appeal to everyone because midnight suns again like i said it's marvel but it's a lot of x-men right it's a lot it's a lot of avengers right it's some defenders in there and so it it trims just enough off to where those hard edges that generally don't appeal to me are gone so any game that can do that that sounds like how I describe like Valheim to where I'm like, well, you know, I know it's a survival game, mm-hmm. but it, it trims off the thing to where like, yeah, you're not going to like die of starvation, but it makes it to mm-hmm. where, you know, food and stuff means something. But it's right. like, you know, and all that stuff to where if it didn't have the survival aspects, it would just be kind of boring. And like you actually get the because there's multiple games where you're like you have so much food that you can eat, but mm-hmm. it's much easier to get help through other ways, you know, other right, than eating. Right. But, you know, it, it just makes it to where um, your survival aspects are are there, but they're not... Yeah. It takes away the things that make it frustrating and only adds yeah. the things that make it fun. Yeah, and and that's that's where this game is at. It sits right in that... It's just, So it's more of the... To answer your question, it's more of that lightning in the bottle because it sits right in the, the perfect pocket of of player experience 
Mm -hmm. to where everything seems easy enough. You don't have to worry about a grid. If you have a move available, you can move anywhere around the map and it'll, it actually gives you, it does a sweet thing to where like, okay, so like there are things in the game that you can slide or shove into people. Like you can slide things into people. You can Mm -hmm. knock people back into other things. Right. Um, And so um, if you go to move your character to get up, to get that character in, in the right position, as you are, so you hit, the thing is you hit you hit a button twice. So the first time you hit it, you can move the cursor around wherever you want. As you're moving that cursor, it shows the lines of the things to say. If you were to sit here and if you wanted to slide this thing right here, it would go along this path. Like it simplifies all of that stuff for you. So you, and it visualizes it so you don't have to see it in a grid and then think about it yourself and then try to apply the rules of the game. It's like it doesn't do all of that. It's just right there visually and it's so smartly done. And you could just like, yeah, if I get it right here, that means I can line up this. I can line up, you know, Miss Marvel's photon beam to hit everybody in a line from here all the way to the end of the stage. And that's going to kill like three of the four people. You know what I mean? And it'll line it up. And it's like, that's excellent. Like you don't have to like it takes, like I said, it just alleviates that layer of thought that you're like, oh, okay, this is cool. Anybody can play it. Anybody can see what. That's what I like, man. I'm telling you, man. I think it's for access. Yeah, um, yeah, for access games. They did. Yeah, also kind of reminds me of Persona and the fact that, like, when I first played Persona, I was like, maybe I do like JRPGs. And I, then I tried some other ones. I was like, maybe I I just like Persona. <laughs> you know, unless maybe it's, I like Persona RPGs. You know, <laughs> um, so unless it was like te- the Tail series or something like. Not turn based, you know what I mean. But every other turn based game, I'm like, I don't like this as good as Persona's fighting, you know. I know, I know, man. And it's just, it's just, oh man, it's it's weird. It really is weird. So I think I have the edition that gives me all the DLC for the game because I'm looking at all the DLC for like it. Venom and stuff. Yeah, I get. Yeah, I get everybody. So I got, I got all of it, and it's that pack that I got, man. And it's, yeah, yeah. It says here, add all DLC to cart, and it's on Steam. Mm-hmm. And it says it's a hundred and twelve dollars and ninety four cent to add all the DLC if you bought it separately. Right. But I have it all in like the little thirty five dollar package that I bought. Right. So, I, I y'all, I firmly, I strongly recommend it to you. Please, please go get the if you are a fan of any of these Marvel characters, whether it's Blade, um, you know, Doctor Strange. Um, Spider-Man, I already mentioned Captain Marvel. I'm not going to give some of the other ones away, but like Nico from the, um, from the, uh, I think from the, is she from the Inhumans or which one, which one was on the show on Fox? Anyway, um, like, uh, not the Inhuman show, the, uh, I can't remember it. Now. Runaways from the Runaways. Um, like, dude, it's, it's so many, it's so many people in here and the, the story is extremely well done. So it makes me want to go back because I have XCOM 2. I think I have uh, and I have the original XCOM and I think XCOM 2, which were also made by Firaxis Games. But theirs doesn't trim off everything. But I, I'm probably going to try those when I'm done. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. I keep, t- I keep tapping the wire and it keeps coming unplugged. That's my bad. <laughs> That's it, man. Like I said, I, I, know, I know I keep bringing it up. Y'all and I'm like, is he ever gonna be done with that game? No, I probably won't. Like, well, I think that's the game to where, like, yeah, you can finish it, and it's still gonna take you a while to finish it. Yeah, but it's a game that if you wanted to, that be your forever game. You could just continue just to play that game. Yeah, because they just have side missions, and then you have all the social links, and you always have opportunities for that. But I mean. There's actually choice in this game with con- like dialogue choices with other uh-huh. consequences and stuff. And so like there are all of these different elements that continue to play. And it does. It is very similar to a Persona game in that regard. It's just that the the action uh, and just like a Persona game, like the, it's turn based. But man, I, like I said it is fantastic. And there's actually fun building all of the card deck, the card deck in your hand. Like you can go through, build it, power things up, take certain mods on them, um, like like re-roll your mods. Now we're talking like division, right? <laughs> we're talking about like division, right? You know how you can re-roll some mods on your gear and stuff. You can re-roll mods on 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 attacks and stuff, man. And it's just it's stinking cool, man. It it really is. Like I said, I think I'm about 60 plus hours in right now. So mm-hmm. um Pardon me for just gushing, but I'm in. I'm seventy. Sorry, seventy point three hours in. Um, well, yeah, should, fantastic game, man. We should actually probably be wrapping it up at at that. I think um, eighty the eighty mark should be the wrap up hours, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I would hope so. 
I would hope so. But like I said, I've been doing a ton of side missions, man. And I, and yeah. I still don't have everybody that I know I can get. So I know, I know I still have at least 12 to 15 more hours to go. I'm telling you, I've been doing a ton of side content. A ton. Yeah, that, and then there's the actual DLC missions, which are like the vampire stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, which I haven't, which I don't even think I've, I, I've, I've, got, I've done quite a few of those. Um, so it's cool. And then here's the final thing. Here's the final thing, Chase. All right. It plays fantastic on on like on like a Steam Link, like because uh-huh. I, I can go and say, oh, it plays plays freaking awesome and it looks fantastic, man. So it's it's cool, even though I don't have a Steam Deck, but it's like yeah, it's, man, it's verified on it's verified uh, on the deck too. So you'd love it, man. You'd you'd love it. Like you 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 would be right up your alley, man. Right, it'd be right up your alley. Sweet, for real. Yeah, the only thing that I've um really been well the past three weeks I, I thought i was just gonna like put this in and be finished with it and then all mm-hmm. this like life stuff got in the way and i just haven't been in the mood to play but i started up call of duty world war Two, and okay. i kind of been playing just like a few minutes here or there like for the past three weeks so i'm i, I think mm-hmm. i'm about to finish this game but it's it's a good little campaign it um it does change up a little bit if you're used to like yeah. playing Call of Duty, so where you have like health regen, it goes yeah. back to having health packs. So oh, okay. I, I, th- I okay. think it's a little bit of an homage to the first Call of Duty, which was also World War Two. Mm-hmm. So, but 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 it's pretty cool. Um, but the other thing I've been playing was Lord of the Rings Online with my brother. It's not nothing like really super hard, super hardcore, but we just right. kind of been like playing a little bit before we go to bed. We're um, two hobbits. I'm um, I'm a minstrel, which I just like play a guitar or a little lute yep. thing, and then he's a lore master. I don't even know what that means, but I was like, me with a guitar and you with a book, saying the the the, the lore says this. This is canon, and then that's how we fight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, man. But um. But that's yeah, I don't good. really know what too much. He he's really following the story. I'm not really. I'm just, we're just kind of hanging out and talking and playing some Lord of the Rings online. That's really all I've been playing. I, I okay. I've wanted to like really get into some other things, but that's pretty much it, man. Um, because even if I look on, I haven't really played any Cyberpunk. Oh, well, I did download Starfield tonight because tonight is Starfield night. Because oh, okay. But, I downloaded it. It was supposed to launch at 8 o'clock. And I was like, well, maybe there's 30 minutes. I can maybe launch it and just talk about a little bit on the podcast. But then it needed to update. Like, everybody, stop (laughs) with the... I I fall for it every time where I I can hit install early. Don't do it. Uh Don't Like, there is no (laughs) point in pre-installing a game that you're going to have a an update that's about as big as the regular game. I mean, right, right. You might as well just wait until the update's ready and just install it all at once. <laughs> this is why I'm waiting on the Cyberpunk uh um Phantom Phantom Liberty, right? Mm-hmm. Because you and you they're going to have the update and stuff. I'm like, "Well, I just wait till Phantom Liberty is out cuz the second if I install before Phantom Liberty, and then the second that that DLC comes out and I buy it, it's going to download the DLC, and then it's going to download another update. So I'm just going to wait until it's all packaged into one thing, um, right? Because you know, hashtag um, hashtag data caps, right? <laughs> like that's just that's just what it is. But speaking of which, though, Chase, I am going to send you right now. I'm going to send you Hardware Unbox. I don't know if you watch Hardware Unbox, but I, I trust these cats. They review all type of PC hardware, and they have optimized settings for Starfield. I'm sending okay. them to you right now, um, and it should improve your performance by anywhere between, I think they said twenty to thirty percent, um, but it should improve your performance by a lot. Uh, in anyone's performance, they have two different quality modes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna send them to you where you want them. You want them in Discord or you want them on your cell phone? Um, let's put them in Discord in the shout box for everybody else to see too. All right, all right. On my way to do that, man. I think everyone would appreciate that. Um, Shout box. Boom. Okay. Um, let's see here. All right. But yeah, man, I am I'm looking forward to it. I want you to tell me how it is because I am not a Bethesda fan like that, man. Um, so I want it to be good. Um, and if it is, then that means, man, we just be rocking because that means the gaming industry went from Baldur's Gate 3 to Starfield, straight to Phantom Liberty. Mm-hmm. And then we'll have Assassin's Creed Mirage, which I don't know if that's going to be as good as I want it to be. But 
Steel. Well, like, other people's going to be on the Spider Man two, and that's the yep, thing where it's like, yep, man, and that's what I, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's the that was the other one I was I was thinking about. All that with Venom and all that stuff. I was like, man, I really want to play it this year, but I know I can wait. I know that, but it's going to be so good. I just know it. <laughs> Cause like yeah, both, man. I mean, Spider-Man One and Miles Morales were both amazing. I mean, it'll be, it would shock me if this one isn't good. Uh, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Listen, listen, listen. I, I don't anticipate that game being bad in anybody's, uh, in anybody's world. I, mm-hmm. I can't, I, I, I can't imagine that. I, I literally can't. I can't fathom that for real. Like, and, I just and can't. I, and I like that they're not making Venom. Isaac, um, Isaac Brock. That's the lead singer of Modest Mouse. <laughs> Eddie Brock. <laughs> Eddie Brock. <laughs> because, because <laughs> the reason they wanted, they wanted it to be a surprise on who it was, you know, kind of like, yeah. Because when, when uh, I'm sure, like when, um, back in the original comics, it was probably kind of like a, you know, nobody really knew. I can't remember, but like having uh, uh, the- originally it was a. Um- Oh no! It's, I'm thinking Carnage. I'm thinking Carnage because that was Jay Jonah's son. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Carnage. Back back from the show. My bad. Mm-hmm. Thinking back from the show. Go ahead. But yeah, but that's a that's a cool thing because nobody. Everyone says I want everything to be completely accurate to the comics or whatever. But you don't really want that because then you there's nothing new, or like yeah. oh your adaptation like your remake to be exactly like the other movie. You don't want that. You you want it to right. be a good movie and. And you want it to be in the spirit of the movie, but you don't want it to be that's the exact true. same thing because that's already been done. <laughs> right, right. And and the thing that I always had to tell my son or remind my son, it was like um, Batman movies and stuff. And I'm like, now listen. He was like, but that's not canon. I'm like, so I hit him with the question. So who's canon are you referring to? You know how many artists over the years have taken a shot at at their interpretation of this character? Which one is true? Which one is the one that prevails? And who's to say that this new artist doesn't have the right to put their own spin on it? Mm-hmm. So before you judge, watch and see, then judge, right? Yeah, so, yeah, it's crazy because people look back on like Batman '89 as like this great golden age thing that it was never controversial. That was extremely mm-hmm. controversial. Like it oh, didn't yeah. go by the comics at all, hardly. Mm-mm. It Mm-mm. gave an origin story to Joker, which was like very taboo, and mm-hmm. it, yeah. That I mean, and also think of uh, Michael Keaton. At the mm-hmm. time, he wasn't like known as like Batman. He was known as like Mister Nanny or whatever. You know what I mean? People yep, were like, yep. it, it would be like the. He was a romantic comedy guy. He was the romantic comedy guy and people literally revolted at wb and were like what what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> like Who's people a, were mad man he's a romantic con- what's the guy from um uh what's the guy it's from hard. the the um the hangover like one of the main guys that Zemeckis? no it's a well, maybe maybe, maybe let's go let's go with him like what if we, okay. someone like the new batman movie is jason sudeikis he was like right. you, you mean <laughs> You mean Ted Lasso is Batman? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much how it was going to be. You know, right. how it was. But now, right. in hindsight, people are like, oh, that's my Batman. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, he was he was always my Batman. And I was I was young at the time when that came out because I was nine. Right. You're talking about 89. I was nine. Right. And so um, to me, I didn't have that cachet invested because I read Marvel when I was a kid, not D.C. Right. So I didn't have the cachet invested in the Batman to be offended. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just thought that he was pretty cool. He was a he was a pretty cool Bruce. And as a Batman, he was good. So I was like, like, for me, that's my guy. So um, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But yeah, you're right. But like I said, the artist interpretation is fantastic. So, yeah, man, excited about that stuff. But again, if you guys are out there in our in our um, in our discord, Mm -hmm. in the uh, shout box. We have the hardware unboxed, optimized settings for performance mode and quality mode. Um, if you're playing on PC, um, it should save you some uh, some processing power. Um, and um, because that game is heavy, it's heavy. Yeah. So and if you're playing um, on console, it's well, 
enjoy your 30 frames per second, right? <laughs> right. Get them 30 frames. Get them 30 while you can get it. Get them 30. Um, so <laughs> Chase will be out here on the performance mode more than likely trying to reach for them 60 or 45. Yeah. I think with your I think with your cards, you might be able to scrape scrape up to 45. I don't know. I couldn't remember. I can't recall, but I can I can put the leak in the chat. But it does improve performance by a lot. But performance in that game is low. Straight up. Mm-hmm. Straight up. So um, yeah, I, I really don't mind it being low as long as it's consistent. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big deal. That is a big deal. Now, I did hear that it is smooth, and I did hear um that it looks fantastic. Um like I said, I'm just I'm just not a Bethesda guy, man. Like they're going to have to make me believe. They got to make me believe. And they probably don't even want my money, but they got to make your boy believe. So, um it is what it is. Like I'm this close to getting a PS5, man. <laughs> I got bills, you know what I'm saying. I got bills, but I, I really want a PS5 just because I haven't played Ragnarok. Uh-huh. Um, um, I haven't played Horizon Forbidden West, and it um, don't. And as long as it's been out, it does not look like either Bloodborne or um, Ghosts of Tsushima are coming to PC. And Ghosts, and Ghosts, and because because Ghosts that is, I've played uh, a few hours of Ghosts when I was still playing on my PS4, and that is. That's a very, 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 very good game. Oh yeah, my son, both my sons love it, man. And the thing is, there is a rumor though that um, Sony's gonna do an event, uh, a direct like presentation here soon, and that they're finally gonna announce like a Bloodborne PC make. Mm-hmm. Um, but I can't wait on that the PlayStation PC groups to start saying all of these games are coming out. I'm waiting on Ghosts for real, um, and then uh, Horizon Forbidden West. It's been two years, I think, since that game came out now. Or something like that. So it's about that time, man. It's about that time. So, um, but yeah, I just that's just where I am, Chase. I'm I'm I'm, I'm real close. I'm real close to getting there, man. But then I was looking at some of these uh, handheld devices. I'm like, man, I never really had anything but a PSP. What am I gonna do? <laughs> so yeah, that's about it, man. Well, so that's, you, that's I mean, I it's all about your lifestyle. If you have the time to be like, man, you know, I could be doing some stuff on. I have a lot of downtime at this, but now that you're at home, you mm-hmm. have you have the downtime you got. You have your own computer right there. Yeah, I got my computer. I got my my whole man cave. I got a TV, a huge, you know, got a. It's not really huge. It's what forty nine inch TV, and you know, got my monitor here. And so, I mean, I got I got everything that I can sit down. I got everything that I need right here. So, um, but yeah, oh, man. So oh, check this out. I I had um. I turned my phone on to like check the time or whatever and mm-hmm. like Reddit was up and <laughs> it said <laughs> plane turns around mid flight after <laughs> passenger has diarrhea. Wow. That must have been some bad diarrhea though. <laughs> Dude, you're like <laughs> That was a massive shit for you to be like, Man <laughs> man dude grounded. Like that was a literal like <laughs> terrorist act. <laughs> Man, they were like, listen, man, we listen, listen, dog. I don't know what you had for lunch, but <laughs> we got to unload because we got to each other. Yeah, people yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got somebody. We need to get some some of the Febreze packets and get the little pine trees. We're going to have to do something, man, because this ain't this ain't cutting. It, man. This is not cutting. It. So <laughs> he's in there like know. putting the um putting the pine tree in front of the uh, fire extinguisher and letting it blow the pine <laughs> What I'm wondering is, what I'm wondering is, who found out that it was a problem? Like, who found out that his diarrhea was an issue on the plane? And how? I, I don't know. Um, I mean, it's just a picture. So it, it, it's a picture. It's a screenshot. So I, I don't actually have the full article. But I don't know. My mind's going along to where it, it might have been running out of the <laughs> laboratory or whatever. Yeah, man. Listen, listen. So those little those little things with the vacuum flush, they don't really hold much, right? Mm-hmm. So he probably wasn't flushing normally like he needs to. So um, I don't know what happened, but man, that's no good, man. That's no good. <laughs> you know how mad I would be? And then also, I, it's, it's, that's some shame, man. Dude, yeah, like it's it's yeah. a shame for enough that we're like, oh man, we're sitting here stuck at this restaurant because 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 you had the like massive shit and we're sitting there waiting on you for half an hour. This dude, people are business trips are having to be pushed yeah. home because of your bowels. <laughs> dude, this is one of the he- this is one of the um, this is a pretty busy, the pretty heavy traffic day. Keep in mind, this is the day after Labor Day. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people are trying to get back home from going somewhere else. 
You know what I'm saying? And so they're like, I can't even get home because of this dude, man. Like, man, where you at? <laughs> like, where you at? Somebody like, man, I don't know, man. Goodness. That's tough. Well, <laughs> they were two man. hours into an eight hour flight. Oh, that's rough. So you had to turn around. So that's half the flight. That's <laughs> half the flight, dog. So imagine how that last two hours felt. <laughs> or smelt. I don't know. Tell me. And it'd be Man. even bad if he was like, he started feeling the rumbles again, and then he he's like, I gotta hold it. I can't have this happen yeah. again. Right. Ah, because there's nothing worse than being in the car or something, and you're just like sitting right. there like. <laughs> my 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 question is my question is what did he eat beforehand? Or do I I are you like me and you think that some restaurant is gonna get sued because they gave him bad food? Before he went up on this plane, so somebody at the airport, I don't know, but bad one, food somebody's Papa Do's, <laughs> somebody's Papa Do's, or somebody's somebody's Auntie Anne's, or something is uh, a Zabaro is to blame for this. Some for somebody, somebody. So I, I don't know where he came from or where he went, but that's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. But you man. always plan. You always want to plan if you know that you're going to have a 45 minute drive. You don't want to be eating chili. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Right, so, man. Right. I mean, you got to think about other people, man. And because if it, if it was food poison, he'd probably been throwing up. You, you know what I mean? I, I know that diarrhea is a form of throwing up, but the um, but your body's going to be like, we can't let it digest. It's got to come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, yeah, it got to come out. The um, But I, I don't know if he was like, man, I really want some Chipotle before this eight-hour fright. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just poor decisions. Yeah, man. Yes, that's, that's bad life decisions, man. Bad life decisions. Number one, man. So, uh, yeah, that's crazy, man. Oh goodness, man. Yeah, I'd have been mad, dog. I need my refund, airlines. I need my refund, dog. And yeah. everybody, and everybody gets a uh, a tree shaped car freshener on the like, way out. Okay, is like, is this flight owned by Steam because it's under two hours? <laughs> <laughs> man. Goodness, man. Two hours into an eight-hour flight. So they wasted half the amount of flight time just to go nowhere. Yeah. That's hustling backwards, man. That's how I see it. It's hustling backwards. So, man. So what else? What else, Chase? What else I, we got, man? I think we're good, man. I mean, we we clocked it in at about an hour. This is this is, this is is what Scar always wanted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And now he's not here to take to enjoy the fruit. You know what I mean? Thanks, Scar. <laughs> Thanks, Scar. So Dang. maybe it's telling that he's the one that made the show go long. Yeah. <laughs> Blame it on me. <laughs> so, Chase, tell him how I don't know how far away we are from um, hitting our like little goal or whatnot, man. For sub for subs, I don't know how far away we are. But uh, look, if you're listening, if you're watching this, if you enjoy this, um, check us out on YouTube and uh, subscribe, man. Appreciate, it. appreciate. It. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I, I, um, Scar told me about that. I, I have not had the time to check in on it. Um, but, um, but yeah, it's the the YouTubes have been doing well, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get back out there and get some more, um, get some more reactions in your ear for sure. Um, so those are coming. Those are coming. But uh, hey, man, we appreciate you rocking with us, rolling with us. I know this is new. Uh, I know y'all expect to see Scott, but uh, you know, we'll see. Him. And also, if you have a chance, come on out there and jump in with us on the uh, on the party night sometimes on, on Fridays, man. Get out here in the Discord. Uh, we have a good time. We have a good time. We kick it. And we chat. We crack jokes. We do all that stuff, man. So it'd be tough for me to make it on Fridays because, like I said, every Friday I'm at a football game, man. But in the month of October, I'll, it'd be every Thursday I'm at a football game. So I'll be mm-hmm. out there on Fridays. So um, look, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to get back in and cracking jokes and stuff. So um, Yeah, man. Cause yeah, we go a little bit more loud on Fridays than we do on the oh. on the podcast where you know the whole world's listening. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. We yeah yeah we cut loose, man. It's fun. It's fun. Now I don't have my I don't have my grade A mic here, but you know I always have a little headset. And we 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 go to town, man. So mm-hmm. um, and then I mean I might even stream for um for the people in the chat some some Marvel Midnight Suns if y'all interested. I might I might stream it to the Discord. I mean just because it's fun. Yeah. It's real fun, yeah. Real fun. Yeah, the so, Discord streaming it, it works pretty well. Yeah. Now I'm not Nitro, so y'all only getting thirty frames. Yeah. 
Just, but yeah, I'm just letting y'all know. So it should be should be good though. Should be good. Sweet. Though. But um, but yeah. So everybody that's listening, uh, just give us a like or a subscribe on the YouTube's and tell your friends and all that stuff. Uh, t- tell the other. See if you can get your other people that um that listen to the the old feed to try to jump over because it is a new feed. Even though mm-hmm. that this is the second episode, so I'm trying to do five episodes on the Scarcasm feed just to kind of get some bleed over, you know, because yep. yeah, just, you need that. Just posting it on whatever. I'm, I mean, it's it's kind of it's kind of hard to because everyone just subscribes and forgets about it. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's podcasts. I have the RSS feed that I don't even know if some of them are. I've downloaded. I have the episode downloaded, but that episode has actually been deleted off of their system. But I have it downloaded in my podcaster feed, so I can still listen to it. That's how, mm, okay. like, you know, they would get when I was so backed up on podcasts. But uh, yeah, yeah, <clears> been there. But yeah, so thanks you guys for thank thank you guys for listening, and um, we're out sure. here. Peace out to the Warriors. Yeah.